different values and in similar way we are going to perform the data analysis on the table and uh, here in this file you can see you are able to see the database i have been created the tables i have been created and the values i have been inserted so this is the table this is the first table for employees and uh, these are the values then uh, in this table i have been inserted these values these are the seven values then we have been created the table 2 named as the project and uh, in projects table we have been inserted these values these are the five different values like project id project name start date end date budget and manager id now we have to perform the data analysis project directly i will share all these files with all of you these are the two different files this is the organizational management file and this is the data analysis file both of these files i will share with all of you in uh, video description you can do check uh, directly via Google Drive link as well as you can directly do check with the github link. So most probably I will share the github link Now here we have the 15 different different problem statements and using this step problem statements We have to do the data analysis with these tables So at very first I will keep open the columns from this table and that's why here you have the option to do check with the columns these are the values from employees table employees employee id first name last name department salary and uh, so at very first always do check with the values in the columns and these are the values which will helps you a lot to come up with the better understanding of the projects and better understanding for the data analysis also so which will allows you to do the critical thinking now project id project name start date end date budget and manager id these are the values in this table now this is the very easy project and in this project only 15 tables uh, 15 uh, different different problem statements have been considered now very first this is the first problem statement and uh, it is retrieve the first and last name of all employees in the it department so we have to showcase the first and last name of all employees in the it department so i will select these values select first name last name department from employees table like if you are checking the employees table here is first name last name and department these are the values and three people are working in it department jake uh, then emily and john so definitely this will be the result we will get after running this query so employees fair department is equal to id so this is the very simple query and uh, here it's we have the answer so in similar way first name last name department and john emily jake these are the three people who are working in it departments and their four names we have been written second table uh, second statement is the calculate the total budget allocated to all projects now we have to do check with the projects table and uh, talking about project tables we have to we have to do some we have to do addition of all the cost uh, for the project cost sorry this is the salary these are the projects and this is the budget column and we have to do some of all these columns and to do the same we have to come up with this select some budget so this is the sum budget we, we have did the addition of budget all the budgets for all different projects as total budget from projects so this is once again this is very simple uh, simple query and six lakh fifty thousand usd is the budget for all these projects company has been declared now then third statement is the find the average salary of employees in the finance department here is the employee table and uh, how many people are working in finance department we have to find the average salary of these people like finance department logan and michael these are the two people are working and seventy thousand plus eighty five thousand it comes around one lakh fifty five thousand and uh, while it comes to the average we have to divide by two just because of two people are working so it will come around 77,500 I think and uh, we will run this query and uh, after this we will get clarity. For that we have to enter the select department then we have to find the average salary so average function I will use and uh, in uh, braces I will take the salary as we have to find the average salary and uh, this is the align as average salary and then we have to come up with these values from employee table fair department is equal to finance so in similar way i am going to run this query and we will get the answer exactly finance department department is the finance and average salary is the 77500 usd so this is also simple statement and simple problem statement and uh, then list the project names along with their start and end dates so this is very easy statement 
we have to come up only with the column values like start date end date project name and from projects table that's it and uh, here is i'm going to run this so we have the around five projects one two three four five this is the start date and end date was for this specific project and from this we will get the good comparison while it comes to the data analysis like website redesign payroll system product launch market research and sales campaign these are the different projects we are running in the company at similar time now fifth statement is the display the first name last name and salary of employees earning more than 60000 so 60000 dollar we have to represent we have to showcase the values people who are earning more than 60000 so select first name last name and salary we will get these values for the from the employees table so that's why here i have been written the employees from employees fair salary is greater than 60000 now what if i want the salary is equal to 60000 we will do check with the similar values for the same and in similar way at very first we will do check the people who are getting the salary more than 60000 and here are the four people who are getting the salary more than 60000 michael is getting 70000 emily is getting 62000 jake is getting 72000 and logan is getting 85000 now what if i want to find the people who are getting the salary less than 60000 only I have to change the aggregate uh, I have to change the uh, uh, comparison operator and uh, I want the less than so I have been added the less than sign and uh, here are the two people who are getting the salary less than 60,000 55,000 and 58,000 Jane and David getting respectively uh, now one person is remaining who is getting salary exactly 60,000 and uh, i will return the query and john doe is getting exactly 60000 salary and i will keep as it is this statement as uh, the greater the people who are getting the salary more than 60000 now count the number of projects managed by each employee we have to do check with the count of projects how many projects the uh, projects are there and how many employees are working on specific project so for that we have to come up with the values from we have to come up with the joints uh, we have to use the joints and left join we are going to use this you know, using this problem statement so only because of the we have to get the values both from the employee table as well as from the project table just because of uh, while it comes to the projects we have to come up with the values from the projects table and while it comes to the employees detail we have to do check with the employees table now select e dot employee so e is the align uh, align for align for the employee table and uh, e dot employee id e dot first name e dot last name so these are the three columns we are getting from the employee table then count uh, p dot project so here is count aggregate function we are going to use and using aggregate function p dot project id uh, so we are counting the how many projects are going on there and uh, using this we have to do comparison of how many people are working there so p dot project id as number of projects i am going to take from employees e i will insert and then left join i have to do on the projects p so as uh, doing the left join i will get the all employees detail but while it comes to the uh, right table right table is the projects p so only project values we will get while it comes to the left join so that's why lip join is important while performing this statement this statement uh, so projects as p p is the alignment once again for the projects and uh, on uh, allies as a project and uh, on e dot employee id and p dot manager id so e dot employee id is the primary key as well as manager id is the foreign key so right now i am going to use both of these keys as the foreign key like e dot employee id and p dot manager id are both of these keys are working as the uh, foreign key and while it comes to the database we have not defined the foreign keys but directly we can use them then we have to do we have to perform the group by file we are using most of the time if we are using the aggregate function definitely we have to come up with the group by so we are using the group by and group by we have to do uh, with the name of employee only e e dot employee id if we are doing it's more uh, it's also fine and if we are taking other values it's also it is also fine so i will remove these values and i will directly showcase this table so here we have the details and uh, now what if i am adding other values also so it is not showcasing anything different in similar way we will get the similar table only the for only for the formalities i have been added the e dot first name and e dot last name 
and uh, these details are the similar there is nothing to be a different but while it comes to the group by most of the time try to use the single column rather than using two three columns then uh, we have to find the highest budget among all projects so to find the highest budgets among our all projects we have the values like uh, 1 lakh 50 thousand 2 lakh so this is the project with highest budget like payroll system update this is the project with highest budget now we have to do check with the uh, query proper query we have to run so i will do select and then max budget so it is also very easy statement max budget we have to find and uh, we will uh, analyze it as a high budget and from project table so that's it and we have to just run this statement and uh, okay sorry and here we will get these values so 2 lakh is the budget maximum budget a project with maximum budget is the 2 lakh rupee 2 lakh usd is the value of this project then we have to calculate the total salary expenses for each department uh, for that select we have to do select department and then we have to do the sum of salaries so as we will do the group by we can perform the group by uh, based on the department and the salaries i will analyze as salary expenses from employees table and group by we have to do uh, on department so this is very simple query and this is the query we are going to perform in the same table so here we have the details like it department is uh, consuming the salary like 1 lakh 94000 hr department we are spending 55000 finance department uh, then finance department we are spending 1 lakh 55000 then uh, on marketing department we are paying around 58000 so these are the expenses for salary for each department then we have the list the project names and their managers first and last names uh, this is very simple only we have to represent the p dot project name e dot first name e dot last name from project name we have to find the manager who is working on the specific project from employees table we will employ uh, we will import the values like first name last name these are the columns values uh, row values from these columns we will get and uh, we have to do the join we have to do the inner join and projects on project table as p on e dot employee id is equal to p dot project id so this is the very simple statement once again and i will run so we have the details like who which manager working on which project like john doe is working on the website redesigning jane is working on the payroll system then michael is run, working on the product launch and ml is working on the market research and david is working on the sales campaign so in similar way these are the people who busy in uh, specific projects hmm okay and uh, p dot project name last name okay it's fine then 10 problem statement is the find the department with the highest total salary expenses to find out the department with highest total salary expenses already we have been performed the queries uh, is similar query like select department sum salary we have been done with the similar query uh, and uh, total salary from employees and group by we have to do uh, department and limit three so i am just going to do check with the top three departments where we are spending the highest amount so it is the first department where we are spending highest salary amount like one lakh ninety four thousand then hr is on uh, hr is there okay one minute dsc i have to arrange okay it's not possible to come up with the value only limit we can run this statement without limit also and uh, only for one department we will get the values for which department we are spending the highest salary okay it was showcasing the all these departments but by putting the limit one we will get the it department we are where we are doing the maximum expenses then calculate the average budget or project that started uh, that started after 20 uh, first month uh, in uh, january uh, sorry in april first in april first after april first so after april first we have to do check with the values like select average budget we have to find and uh, as average budget ally we will analyze these values as average budget and then we will come to the prom projects uh, from project table we have to import these values here start date is to the date uh, april 1st april 2022 this is the start date and after this date we have to find out the average budget for the project after this date and 
here is the average budget after this date is uh, mm, okay so one lakh is the budget <coughs> after this date we have been consumed now 12 statement is uh, display the employee names and project names for employees who are making who are managing projects so this is the simple statement uh, this is the simple problem statement like e dot first name we have to come up with the values from employees as well as from project uh, employees name project name and uh, we have to do we have to perform inner join on projects p and uh, on e dot i think this problem statements already we have done with still it's fine and uh, in similar way we have these values we have been done with the same problem statement i think so it's totally fine you can ignore this problem statement while you are performing the data analysis or you can add another one problem statement then uh, we have the list the name of employees who are assigned to any project once again i think same okay i will run list the name of employees who are not assigned to any project okay then uh, it's fine this is uh, 11 and 12 are the matching problem statements and 13 so i don't think it will showcase list the name of employees who are not assigned to any project john michael david jane emily okay first name last name project name okay select e dot employee e dot first name e dot last name from employees e join projects p on p okay uh, do check with the problem statement 13 no, just because of uh, something is wrong with this statement and uh, if it is possible from my end to recorrect correct this statement then definitely we will correct but uh, this will be the assignment for all of you while performing the data analysis do check with this problem statement properly and this is the incorrect this is representing the incorrect values so do check with this statement so definitely you can perform the better way in better way so in 14 statement we have to find out the calculate the total salary expenses for entire company so for entire company selects we have to just do the summation of complete salary as total salary from employees table that's it and uh, here is the total salary 4,62,000 USD we are spending as a total salary in this organization. Then last statement is the find the projects that have a budget greater than the average budget of all projects. So this is the statement. This is talking about this. We are going to perform the nested queries. So at very first, I will come up with this statement. At very first, I have to find the sal average salary. So at very first, I will perform this statement select average budget as uh, sorry we have to find the average budget so i will do perform this statement first this query run select average budget as average avgbd and from projects so that's it and talking about the average budget we will get the value as like one lakh thirty thousand is the average budget value now we have to come up with the all these values more which are the greater than the average budgets and for that select project name budget from projects where budget is greater than average budget that's it so directly we can insert these values also and rather than inserting these values we it is really cool if we are inserting the proper statement uh, proper query we are running this will be the good option nested query uh, rather than this already we have the value like one like thirty thousand and in similar way we will get the similar values now website redesign and payroll system these are the two projects which are taking the larger budget with one lakh fifty thousand and two lakh uh, two lakh uh, two lakh usd so that's all about this project thanks for watching this video and uh, make sure to do perform the analysis some problem statements there are some problem statements where you can re-perform the data analysis and definitely come up with the best uh, analysis and I will do share all these both of these two files with all of you